Hello, welcome back today to Collateral Damage. Um, we are going to talk today about Ubisoft and what we all know as criticism, or at least criticism, because apparently Ubisoft, um, God, what is it? Ubisoft, EA, Activision, um, Ubisoft's the big one. I think um, EA is another one where they are attacking the fans for being critical of shitty games. I'm sorry, but if you have a game that we do not approve of and we announce or sh or say our, how we say, opinions based off of that, you know what that's called? Criticism. And also the funny thing about it is I didn't know this about the definition of criticism. Criticism means um, the disapproval of as well. It's not positive. Criticism from they say is not positive. Or disapproval so we're gonna talk about this because it's an it's I'm getting annoyed constantly hearing about especially journalists being like oh this then the other and they're whining and bitching and complaining so something happened recently according to game rant Ubisoft response to Elon Musk Assassin's Creed Shadows criticism which is funny because it's criticism you're allowed to do that what was it Elon Musk suggested that diversity equity and inclusion will kill Assassin's Creed yes it will I think the game's inclusion of an African samurai protagonist. Yes, because it's in Japan. We wanted a J Japanese person to represent the culture, not the 0.01% of a black man. And you can say whatever you want, but it's like Ghost of Tsushima. If you if they made him black, we would be like, why? It's funny because people say, oh, you know, inclusion and everything, but you won't do an Asian person. A main character that's Asian because uh, what he's uh, white is that is that the reason and same thing now see that's the thing if you based it on if you based a story in Africa and you made the main character white I would be very confused I would be like why are you doing that now nah. so replacing the main culture of the country you're basing the game off of is kind of insulting honestly but a senior Ubisoft official has now dismissed those comments as needlessly feeding hatred. Jesus Christ. There are very few people on this... Well, there is not actually... Well, yes, there is a lot of hatred, but I feel like it's, you know, deserved. If you're going to constantly shit on someone, you know, for years and years, and then and especially take their money from them and not give them what they want, eh, you deserve to be hated on. But again... You are allowed to hate something. You are allowed. It's not the best feeling, but if someone hates your game, they have full right to criticize it. And you can call it hatred, but that doesn't stop the fact that apparently your game is shit for a reason, especially to a majority of people. The executive said that Yasuke is based on real historic on a real historical figure. OK, and which, with his inclusion in Assassin's Creed Shadow being a result of a meticulous creative process rather than an attempt at what Well, that's what wokeness is, is creative processes that, are, that branch out beyond normalcy. So, the problem we have here is that in Japan, from my understanding, 99% of the entire population is Asian. But y'all found a way to put in the one black guy into an Asian culture that also apparently was not an actual samurai. He was apparently a um, retainer, so he's not a samurai. He, they are allowed to wear certain versions of armor, but though that armor did not actually relate to the fact of stature of samurai. History. But the problem here is, again, no offense, but that's like, I'm Russian, so I'm going to just use my people because, duh. So, that's like if they went to Assassin's Creed, made a game based off of Russian, um, let's say we actually go into the future, and, um, what's a good historical point in Russia? Let's say the 1600s in Russia. So, the 1600s, I promise you right now, if they put a black guy in there, or an Asian guy, or American, or English, or anyone outside of Russian, I would be offended. Because, one, there are not that many people in Russia that are not Slavic in some point or some way or form. There are only, I think, the black community in Russia is like, 
last time I checked, it was 50,000 out of three, uh, out of 161 million. So, you know, do the math there. It would be insulting for someone to put a Japanese person as the main character of a Russian story. I would be offended because I would be like, yo, this person, no, stop. I don't care what their story is. If you're going to base it off of my country, you're going to base it off of my people. Especially if you want to be historically accurate. Duh. It's just, it's kind of like a slap in the face. Because, because you would not like it if we went to Africa and then based it off of an English person. I'm pretty sure you would not like that. You would also call us racist and slave owners, so, you know, that whole shtick. Because you would. But again, apparently Elon Musk, you know, criticizes Sansku Shadows. It's feeding hatred. No, it's not. We're not, no. The remark was given as part of a wider reflection on the online pushback. Well, yes. If a game has pushback from a lot of people, maybe it has issues. Elon is just feeding. Uh, you've said this like fucking three times now. Mark Alexis, Alexis Cote, the executive producer, of the, has subsequently labeled Musk's sentiment as unproductive. Ha, what? No, no offense, but ha, when Elon Musk says something, most of the time it is productive. Sorry. In a recent interview with Game File, Stephen Totillo, Totillo. Kote said that the late May tweet made him emotional to the point that he decided to practice a session of mindfulness. So you got bitched at, criticized, and you decided to go and practice meditation. That is not a good standard as a boss. If you're a boss and you say, hey, I'm sorry, guys, I got to go meditate. I'm sorry. You have a weak spine. You do. Especially if Elon Musk is telling you, hey, your, your game is uh, questionable. I'm going to criticize it. If, if this is the way you're going, no, no, I don't even want to. I don't even know if I'm ever going to even play this game now just from hearing that. Because if a game is based, if the game has an executive with a spine like this, I don't even want to know what the game's going to be like. I also get kept surfing. Ugh, I don't give a shit. That's essentially what happened. I think it's kind of, eh. You know, get a bigger backbone. What was it? I also was looking up this to see... What was it? Apparently, there's LGBTQ romance options slammed by... Options in it, and it's slammed by fans. And the reason why I want to bring this up is because... I promise you... If we're going into any sort of era back then... This was not an option. This was not an option. I promise you that. I don't care what you say. I promise you, people were not accepting of probably probably even more so in Japanese culture because they are far more family loyalty and having other families or at least making more family members. So you being no offense, but gay or lesbian, probably uh, not the best. It probably was dishonorable too. no offense. The new Ubisoft installment looks to set to change this by introducing them. So here's the problem. They are trying to make historical based games. And then they're trying to redirect history with them with by introducing new things like multitude of romance options that include modern day ideas. You cannot do that. Or well, you can do that, but then we're going to say you're shit. The reason being is exactly as I just said. The game is based off of God. I don't even know the period of time. I know it's, I know it's at least three hundred years ago. I can't remember the era. I know it's a certain era of. I know it's a certain era of samurai. I think right before industrialization or one of the final um, God emperors. I think I don't know. Regardless though, Emperor Ito. I can't remember. Regardless. Back in this day, you are trying to say, hey, here's history. And then you're also trying to say, well, you also can do this. No, you can't. You can't. The problem is bringing in modern day ideas into his historically like past traditions. That's not OK. You don't do that. However, not all fans are pleased. Well, yeah, yeah, duh. We don't like it when history is messed with because that's rude. Was it claims of wokeness as well as review bombing? Well, 
people review bomb negatively and positively so don't you know if you if you water review them not before it's even released have hounded ac show since it's yeah yeah because ooh, big black man in, ja in japan with a bunch of asians eh. ignore this discourse and just watch it no oh you're, is that what you're telling me to do don't ever tell me what to do i don't give a shit who you are the vexation of the fandom looks set to continue to as now some are taking issue with the <sighs> well yes You think that LGBTQI individual didn't live back in the feudal Japan, nor the AC has never included romance on before, given the reactions. Yet, as at Danny Ray Champ remarked, that's been a mechanic since Odyssey. Yeah, because well, well, but but Odyssey again is based. Well, also remember back in those days, men and women were more or less far more open to be able to do those actions, especially in what Greece and, and Rome. They were far more open as a people and they all died anyway so see how that went and they're not that's not really that's not a related coincidence but i actually know it well not necessarily apparently people were ended up becoming you know weak willed and then they got overthrown and killed some i think that's what happened to rome fall of rome whatever regardless they say that in Odyssey, this starts the whole romantic options, but we're all over here like, yeah, but history, historically speaking, this was not a normal act. This was not, you know, looked up upon. This was definitely not a normal action people did in this history. So stop making it like it's normal. Not only is Ubisoft being criticized for being activists, you are, goddammit. At this point in time, if you bring up anything that's modern day into a game that's fantasy based, we're just going to be like, yeah, you're yeah, you're an activist. You are a modern day, you know, I would say leftist shill. And I'm not trying to be mean about it, but it's just we want fantasy that does not represent modern day shit, real life shit. I don't want that because if I wanted that. I would go out to the real world. I want the fantasy world where I can do things that we can't do in the real world. But I also don't want the real world represented in my games. Because no offense, I don't like the real world. I don't want to see it. Just saying. And not saying anything about that, but it's just why would I want to see that in here? Why? If it's a game that's very specific in its actions god what is it like there's certain games that are very political because they have to be that's fine you know what you get into but don't get mad when we're like oh history about assassins and then you're like oh romance i don't give a shit as if that's a slight in some well yes it is because being an activist nowadays means your game's gonna die on impact or was it on release dead dead on arrival but people are moaning you can't just go around killing an AC top. Well, yes, because that was kind of the whole fun point. You can go... I What was it? What is the game? Oh, what is the game? Shut up. There's the game. Prototype. Prototype 2 and 1, or 1 and 2. You could go around and kill civilians, and I do believe there is an achievement in 2. When you kill a million civilians, you get an achievement, I think, called, like, gen maybe not genocide, but something probably to that effect. And you're just like, oh shit, I killed that many people. Because no offense in the game, you're allowed to do it. But just free nearly, just whoo, all you did. It was just part of the game. It was fun. Also, because we can't do it in the real world. Oh, good lord, we can't just play a game about assass assassinations now. There's rom romance in it for no reason. Eh. It. See, that is kind of the part of it. It's like, it's a game about killing assassinations, and now you're bringing in history lore, romance, and all this other shit. Where we're just like, we're just trying to figure out about Assassin, Assassin's Creed, the creed of brotherhoods, and why and how they change throughout history. Ubisoft website confirms Assassin's Creed Shadows will have romantic relations with different types of people. Uh, finally, the first bisexual non-binary black samurai. Uh, uh, what was it? Romantic labor will also attract and be attracted to different types of people through their through the pair. Players will get to experience them. I don't want them. I don't care. Definitely not buying this game or any Ubisoft. Yeah, 
Here's the thing though, you don't have to romance anyone if you don't want to romance of any kind isn't enforced. In it. See, that's not the problem. It's the problem that you're now being modern in a game based off of at least, I believe, 300 years ago where this was not normal. Promise you, it wasn't. What was it? This upset over RPG based gameplay once again reminds us of why we can't have that. Well, yes, because you ruined it. No offense, but if Prototype 3 ever came out and then you were like, oh, yeah, we're going to be you're going to be able to, you know, date anybody. I'm like, I'm not. Why? I don't care. We're here to kill as many people as possible because we are a bioengineered weapon in the game. And if they say, oh, but you can't kill civilians, I'm just like, but you're not a hero. You are a villain in this game. You are a horrible person in this game. You should be fully allowed to just do well because you're also a biomass weapon like you are a got a, a biomass weapon made to kill people so if you took that away you kind of destroying the whole point of the game in truth none of us should be all that surprised by this small section it's not small assassin's creed is a big it, it's a big fandom given how gamers react with starfield dare to include yeah for people not condemning the game over such trivial, you say it's trivial, but that's what they, that's, there's a whole nother topic I could get into of why and how all of this started, but we're not going to because this started a long time ago and it's only gotten worse. I goddamn called it in high school. I said, no matter what happens, we are going to push this boulder. We are going to start, we're going to be at the top of the hill. We're going to look at a certain issue. And we're going to allow it to go. We're going to push that boulder. And I just said, no matter what happens, we're going to push that boulder. It's going to go down the hill. And no matter what happens, it's just going to get worse. I said that in high school. And that was years ago. I said that in high school. And look where we are now. Games fail for all the reasons now. But I don't know what. Hopefully the fan will soon turn their attention to how... Are you sure about that? Because Ubisoft don't really be playing good graphics anymore either. I'm not trying to be mean, but it's just like, also, no, fuck off. Oh, really? Oh, there's a remake. On various remakes in the future. See, 2007, damn. So, sorry to add this to the point, but Assassin's Creed Black Flag remake would probably be one of the best and or greatest remakes in the history, especially if they, you know, tweaked a few things here and there. That, but in twist, it released Assassin's Creed, they yeah, had so the remasters of Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Really? I didn't know that. Damn it. I need to play the Revelations remaster. Oh crap. That would be great. Oh god. That's a long time ago. I. I started on Revelations, then I played three, four, all of them up through except for Mirage. I've not played any, I haven't played any of the last two. Okay, but either way guys, that's my, uh, also, just in case anybody knew or wanted to know about uh, what the definition of criticism is, the expression of disapproval of someone or something based on perceived, nope, I don't like that one. I like the analysis and judgment of the merits and faults of a literary or artistic work. I do love, I love how there are two types. There are two types of definitions where one of them is far more, I think, legitimate, such as. Okay, so. Ooh, the scholarly investigation of literary historical text to determine their origin of the form. I didn't know that. Um, but so essentially the synonym is evaluation, assessment, examination. That is what criticism is. I am giving criticism now. Or Assassin's Creed Shadows. If you don't like that, oh. if you don't like criticism, you're gonna you're gonna die a horrible life. You're gonna live a horrible life. I'm sorry, you are. Because 99, because I will tell you one secret of the world, you're going to 99% uh, of the people you meet are going to criticize you. 
they're gonna criticize me i don't care i'm at a point now where i'm like cool don't care either way i'll see you on the next one all right peace